So otherwise, this is going to be an existential crisis for me to moderate this panel. The last one, <laughs> last one the, um, by Me Too had such an impact. And it has been incredible variety of five performances, I like to call, if not lecture. It was performance, agreed. Um, so I like to start from Me Too, um, but it's so fresh that I wonder, Me Too, that knowing your work at some point, this performing activation or reanimation entered your repertoire. And I wonder how that process was and what in fact, you practicing this performance element um, changed your practice at large. Pakistan, <laughs> No burning of repetition. This imaginary script is non language, cannot be read. Hard to understand. <laughs> What I read is not a translation, but what you want, what you want me to say, sorry, what I just want to say. <laughs> yes, ab absolutely, yes. Um, I mean, I personally think that it was such a brilliant thing that, in fact, there's no way for you to decipher what she was saying, and it does force you to come up with way for you to think, what, to, how to react. And it doesn't allow you to be passive at all. You have to be absolutely involved and proactive to see what this nonsensical language, uh, her adding to rapid succession of images, really means. And it forces you to come, to come, come up to your own interpretation and response. And I think it's brilliant in that sense. Thank you, Mitsu. And for, um, then other <laughs> questions. <laughs> Other questions I have for everyone here is that I see the different extent of performance being their practice. And for example, um, something needed to be presented as lecture or performance on stage because of this particular situation versus that is naturally the part of the practice or the main body of practice to a very different degrees. And I wonder if every one of you can speak about that, the way how that your practice is in fact informed and structured by acting in front of live audience and piece being time-based versus that, that adding this performed element is supplement. For example, your case, Amina, that act of drawing is very fundamental and basic. And we encounter work of drawing in a gallery setting. But there is something that needed to be activated, if that's the right word. And you're having this situation to speak about us looking at the images projected without knowing that's your work or otherwise, but that's so important that to be, it's not important that us to see your work presented visually, but something else needed to be conveyed. And then that is part of your practice. So if you can speak, elaborate a little bit on this thing and see what is the extent of your practice and in thinking practice that subject line goes of this whole forum that Act of producing versus act of thinking, it may not be completely versus. 
and maybe it's not a two different territories, I assume. And how that works in your practice for each of you? I, I don't know the answer to that question. Um, <laughs> I think it's too complex, and I, I wouldn't even know where to begin. <laughs> uh, I would like to request me to, to translate my word. Do <laughs> ये <laughs> I am a safe quote. Yep. Queens, after all, is God to be queen. Good. Good. I, I, I guess uh, <laughs> no, no. Um, <laughs> I want to make this productive, okay? Um, and, um, so I, my practice I see as addressing how do you, because, because there was this gap where performance art was restricted in Singapore. Yeah, where an entire generation of performance artists had to stop practicing. So we had this gap that is still present today. So performance artists are either very established or kind of emerging. Um, and, and how do we talk across generations? So Ray Langenbaugh was in Singapore in the 90s when it happened. And he was part of a generation of artists who had to take their performance and find alternative modes of presenting and speaking about their work. Um, so my practice of archiving and reenactment and speaking to his work and trying to present a retrospective in a way, an alternative retrospective mm -hmm. uh, of, of a performance artist who is still alive uh, and involve him in his own retrospective. I think that was the gesture that I was trying to. So, so if, for your question on whether it's, it's part of the work or integral to the work uh, and what my interests are in performance. I, I'm thinking of moving away and potentially expanding beyond performance as a spectacle, as a spectacular, spectacularization of pain and labor on stage. And, and I guess delegate uh, an amount of it to the audience. Yeah. Does that answer? <laughs> Uh, okay, I don't speak very well English, but I try. Okay, Please. okay. Um, uh, first of all, I, I mean, I'd like to very much the silence when I practicing the performance. Uh, when I do this practice, uh, the this space uh, become a totally silence, and that's the way to unify to together everyone. And that is very interesting for me because uh, here is there many people and uh, everybody is different uh, one and each other. But with my practice, we can uh, be together. Uh, that's, that is the, the best thing I'd like to do, this practice. And the second uh, question is uh, the relationship with the uh, outside. Ah, okay. Um, yeah. Uh, this, this is practice. Uh, uh, I did on practice a performance, and also my sculpture is on practice by me. Is like on uh, how can I say it, to find my myself 
on practice to find myself. It is the point, this sculpture and this practice. And uh, Ah, sì, forse è meglio che parli italiano, però per, per gli altri I try bella, bella. Yeah, <laughs> grazie. Um, però io uh, scusa. <laughs> eh. But uh, so, I so, so, okay. for example, do you that video we saw today? Yeah. When you have exhibitions, that video is on view. Yeah. Yes. Yes. But uh, I don't want to do just a documentary video mm -hmm. for this event because it's, um, it's something to cut from audience to video, no? But with my practice, uh, I believe we can, uh, I can unify the uh, different uh, places. Italy, I, I made this vi video in Italy and it, here is New York, so I want to unified, I want to connect with my practice with uh, these two elements. Um, I guess at first, thank you all for all of your presentations, performances, lectures, the nonsense and sense um, that each of you brought to us. I really enjoyed listening and watching all of the different um, enactments, I guess, and I, I guess I have one observation, which is you guys are very, performances almost feels like insufficient as a term to encompass the varied practices that you had. And I was thinking some of you are like, um, for example, I have the wrong name. So Lou's work was almost like a kind of Foucauldian critique of subject formation in some way. And, um, T. Young's work, I'm not, I'm still thinking about it. It's quite beautiful in the, if de, like the kind of defacement of the face and this um, investigation of kind of classical um, cast production. I'm still trying to understand it also. It's very funny, you're being funny. Um, <laughs> many of you are being very funny and I was thinking about this kind of playfulness and sense of humor that's dealing with issues and parts of the world that generally are sensationalized through other narratives and histories and that you guys are looking through form to other narratives, I think, you know, and to follow on the other moderator who was saying that, you know, we're making history, it's not about identity. I felt that was a very powerful kind of statement and it carried through in all of your works as well. Um, Amina and Yasmin, I want to ask you guys also about things like what's outside of performance for you and what you're bringing into your presentations that may not be what we understand with them, a kind of Western realm of what is performative, but you seem to be, yes, I mean, motioning very much to things like intergenerational memory, the body, invisible labor, um, and I guess I was curious, I mean, Mitu's work is quite fantastic and we've, um, been enjoying it even within this kind of discursive medium, but I guess I, I don't know exactly how to ask all of you a question, but it felt like you guys are pointing to things that lie outside of or at the edges of performativity and opening out onto other ideas of even what is foregrounded as art. Um, and what we see as a kind of performative space. So maybe you could talk about the things that you're thinking of that are actually outside of or that you're invoking that are invisible in some way, invisible labor, um, bringing other kinds of formal practices together, how you're thinking of the memory and the body, intergenerational um, issues, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Whatever you wanna, any of those things that's interesting you should talk about. Uh, for me, uh, performance is like a daily life. Like, it's, I, I, I never separate from my body and, and outside the body, my one. So, history is more important for me, with like oral history. So, I follow always the oral history. Like, how people lead the life, how connect people with each other. This is very important for me. Even the memories is so strong and has a sense of humor, you know. So it's, it's very interestingly, I try to bring in the, in the uh, space and within the time. So 
Time and space is also very important for me. Like my practice and everything, I really follow the people. Uh, I really follow the everything. Like what you talking, how you see it, and <laughs> everything. So it's is is also I, I I really connect with the ecology, urgent ecology, and I'm very touched by with political situations as well. So for me, it's not not really different, difficult, or not different from my body and outside the body. So I can bring it. I can I can like uh, collect the informations most of time. So yeah, it's not outside inside. So I'm 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 there. I'm present all the time, all the time. If I'm here, am I correct? <laughs> Am I correct? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sadia. That's a lovely question. Um, <laughs> no, the, <laughs> no, no, I no, 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 no. No, I don't no, give no, no, you no. any clue of my no, language. No, 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 no. I have no, no, all no, the control, no, no. all the power. No. It is so <laughs> much fun when I have, I understand you and you don't understand mine. <laughs> I think one thing that really stood out for me is this idea of cheerful housekeeping that you talked about in your, in your presentation itself and this idea of, you know, smiling and doing labour and the pain of that labour but still insisting or willfully smiling through it. And I think that's very important, especially, you know, when faced with terror, the only way we can deal with it, like yesterday with Wafa's uh, uh, intervention, it's, it's humour, it's comedy, you know, uh, and, and in a way, uh, being camp. And, and knowing that I'm bringing you through exercises and I'm doing it with a smile and a nod and a wink, you know, I'm not treating it too seriously, yeah. I think that that element itself is important you know, uh, to survive. <laughs> I had to learn it the hard way with that look from my mom. Like, is that what you think I'm doing? You know, that, at that moment, I think, you know, when I'm looking at her thinking, what knowing what she's thinking, um, but I was so wrong. <laughs> um, yes, uh, my practice is, uh, um, as I said, is to find myself. So it's uh, like a pilgrimage, pilgrimage uh, to, to find myself. So it's, uh, Mm, for me, it's important because uh, you know I, I respect the another artist uh, do on performance, uh, political performance like Sisi uh, Lazafa, or Adrian Paci, or there are many uh, uh, Abramovich uh, big artists that they do for. But I can't do that because uh, without knowing my myself, I I, I can't change the the world, no. But uh, this is important also for the other people. I think, like a um, politician or economist or something, other people they does their job without knowing themselves. So uh, that's why the the world is so confused, and there are so many worlds. So I, uh, if they politician, uh, they. Uh, can uh, know themselves, uh, they know uh, about their job, uh, they do his job uh, with uh, humanity, uh, with compassion, uh, the world is uh, be very well. So it's very important to know themselves and ourselves, I think. Sadia, um, I, I feel like I really like to open up the opportunity the for question to the uh, coming from um, the floor. Why, can you repeat that? Uh, why is uh, standing on your head? Oh. Uh, I'm just curious why standing on your head was part of your performance. Ah. Uh, I, I said it before. 
Uh, ah, okay. Uh, because um, but do, do you want to I repeat or? Okay. Uh, yes, the sculpture is, uh, as I said, is uh, I, I'm doing to find my myself. You know, is uh, I I'm foreign uh, in, uh, and I live in Italy, so I do a research to the classic work and. But uh, end of this uh, series of work, I do my uh, autoritratto is a self-portrait, you know. So it's to closing the, this series, and I uh, I come back to by myself, you know. But I don't want to do just for this event. I don't want to just present you my documentary because it's um, um, it's very uh, cut from the video and audience. So with this practice, uh, I believe to uh, unify the in interaction and uh, with uh, different space and different time and and from the video and audience together. So, but I, I'm just really curious about being upside down as part of that, and I mean it reminds me of Me, me Too's a little bit. It's it's a it's a it's a kind of undoing. It's kind of uh, I, I, I'm just uh, it, was there a reason for the, being on your head itself? I mean, it was there. You chose that as your as the mediating between those two spaces of the audience and the and maybe I. Maybe this has been answered. I'm sorry. I think Lisa's just um, gonna. Yeah. I'm so sorry. We do have to cut here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's wonderful because it's. Um, I'm learning that actually we probably need more time for the discussions. So um, thinking, whatever we're gonna think about next time and take five, uh, we will try to see if we can add more time for the discussions. But I just wanted to say, um, uh, you know one thing, um, that the majority of the works um, were actually made for this um, forum slash exhibition. So um, uh, that, that was um, a, a, an extraordinary feat um, for myself and for everyone um, who took it on in case, you know, but they were always related to the larger practice, um, of course. And you saw the dictatorial, you know, directions um, that I had given everyone uh, that was thrown at my face, thankfully, with beautiful humor, uh, yet at the same time respected um, and taken on. And that is what is so absolutely magical about artists, that they're just ready to play. And so um, we cannot take them for granted for a minute. You want to understand their work, you need to make the effort in the break time, please ask them more questions. And then we come back for a um, final session of um, really, again, more transformative, um, you know, internal work for us. Thank you, Lisa, Atif, and Aisha. <laughs> I got